I'm back again. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for pressing play. My name is Jude and this is Valentine. You can call me Val. Mm -hmm. And this is Christ Affection. So you guys, we are so grateful to the new subscribers and everyone that just visits this channel and decides to be a part of us. Thank you so much from yeah. the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate it. So in today's video, we are so sorry. Probably the quality of this video looks a little bit mm -hmm. ikochini but you guys youtube this is the second video of this that we are, we are redoing this video so please bear with us because you have to have this video uh we are using natural lighting so that's why yeah. i keep looking outside in case to mawingu ikam anyway we hope you're keeping warm so in today's video we are going to be doing something different it's in the middle of the year, in case you didn't know, with the pandemic and everything going on. Imagine it's already June. Yeah, it's already oh, June, oh, like we are halfway yeah. through the year. And I know this is, it's probably a wrong year to talk about goals and what we want to achieve. But we're going to be counting our blessings as we go on. Because there are those things we can actually achieve while in the house, while locked yeah. down, while yeah. away from other things. So that's why we are doing this video. So we are going to be analyzing five aspects of our lives and we're going to take stock of it. We're going to do it on a shallow ground. So we hope it's going to give you something to think about, to work on individually or with your partner or with your friend or whoever keeps you accountable to do this. So these five aspects that we are taking stock on shall be guided by four questions. What is our mindset towards this yeah. aspect of life? What has been working for us? What has not been working for us? And where do we intend to be in the next six months? Yeah, and those uh, aspects that we look at are the spiritual aspect, mm -hmm. physical aspect, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, our mindset or yeah. the mental aspect, yeah. uh, and uh, career. Social, yeah, and the social yes. aspect, like yeah. our relationships. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so on to the first aspect, that is the spiritual uh, aspect or area of our lives. As far as I'm concerned, my mindset about my spiritual life, uh, I look at it from two areas, that is prayer life and uh, Bible reading life. Mm -hmm. So my mindset is that I should constantly grow in these areas, yeah. uh, constantly improve and, you know, in my prayer life mm -hmm. and also be more consistent in my study of the Word. Yeah. Uh, what, has not been work what has been working, let me start with what has been working, is whenever I wake up early, I get some good time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to read my my, my Bible, uh, and to pray. and pray. Yeah. Uh, so that, that has been uh, working whenever I work, wake up early, mm -hmm. uh, because once it's you know noon, Quendelea, uh, like I don't know, uh, I just get caught up in the day's Other activities, things, and yeah. now it becomes very hard to do my quiet time. Mm -hmm. So what has not been working is. Over the last few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, I've really had a problem with waking up early. Yeah. Uh, so that has been a challenge. Because you stay up late a lot. Yes. Probably working or just watching a movie. Yeah. But how I've handled it is, like, for example, for prayer, nowadays my prayer is more of conversational, like mm -hmm. along the day, even in the midst of my activities, just find myself just whispering uh, a prayer to God because, like, prayer is assuming you are God and I am me. This is like yeah, prayer. Good. This is like you know prayer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because, because you're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it has been more conversational in terms of reading the word. Uh, I think using a study bible has been very helpful. Yeah. Uh, and Val will talk more about that. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, my mindset is definitely also like to keep growing in prayer and in the in in the reading of the word of God. Yeah. Yeah, so what has not been working for me is that I have this mentality that my quiet time should just be done in the morning and mostly early. So in those days that I sleep in a little bit, I tend to push it to the next day. Or I feel like, Sijui, I feel like a subwind on Tailewa Sana, but you know, that's that's not been working for me. But now I really have to readjust and be flexible because not all mornings i'll be waking up early and sometimes i just wake up and i jump to work you know because i have a deadline i have to beat but what has been working for me is this journal 
the alone with god journal yeah me too i forgot to mention it yours yeah. is here i cannot oh, like yeah. i cannot <laughs> insist enough how much it has been nice just writing in this book although i i feel like see mine is even marked uh-huh can you can you focus yeah <laughs> but i feel like i don't know i've never really read jude's because jude is the guy jude's Journal is the guided one. I feel like I want it more. I want, I want it more, but we'll talk about exchanging. Yeah, imagine initially I used to really follow the guides because the guided journal guys has questions. Like for example, after you read a scripture, uh-huh. it asks you, asks you, what do you see? What questions do you have? And who God is, God? yeah, who, yeah. Who, who, who do you see God as? Uh-huh. So initially I used to really follow it, but I knew it wouldn't work for me in the long term because sometimes the observations I've made there, you know, they don't fall within these questions. But again, they still help someone, uh, you know, if you are really struggling with what to write uh, down oh, when you're okay, having your Bible okay, study. Okay. But I prefer... I think I follow the same things because when I'm writing mine, mm-hmm. I actually write down my observation. But we'll talk about that yeah. later. The other thing that has been working for me, and Jude by extension, is this Bible. It's called the NLT Life Application Bible. I got this Bible off the street. Okay, Jude got it for me off the street. <laughs> and it went for 2000 Yeah. Yeah, and you can you can actually bargain. So this is a really good <clears throat> good Bible. I think we'll, we'll do a video to get more into it because you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, so that's It's what, actually very good. If yeah. you want to, you, there's also, you can download it, but you also need to buy it. It's yeah. not free. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That means it's so good. Mm. Yeah. So basically that's what has been working for me in terms of uh, spiritually. But where I want to be in the next six months is I want to be more consistent. Mm-hmm. I want my prayer time. I know every time my choir time is not silly voluntarily Nataka, but in the next six months I want it to be out of Nataka more than out of I'm forcing myself, you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so uh, the next, uh, next aspect. Wow. <laughs> Next. So next, we look at next this aspect. Physi- <laughs> uh-huh. physical aspect. Uh-huh. Uh, my mindset about my physical well-being. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, I look at it in the area of sleep mm-hmm. and also uh, fitness. fitness. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So in terms of sleep, uh, I believe that I should have at least seven hours of sleep on average of for me to function sleep. really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, though sometimes you work on two. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I can ha- have you know I can sleep like three hours or even two hours, and function well. But anyway, I need to have at least seven hours of sleep. Yeah. Uh, in terms of fitness, I believe that fitness is very important, and I need to keep fit. Now, kwa grao sasa, what has been working is every now and then we have these walks with Val here. So we take a stroll around the neighborhood. Yeah. So that has been working. At Sometimes least we convince ourselves. ourselves to work out in our living room. Okay, we have done that before. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> it well, lasted two weeks. It didn't. Yeah, yeah. It didn't last long. Only yeah. two weeks. Yeah. So that did not work for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, what else has not worked? Yeah, we've been sleeping very late. Uh, yeah. Most we days. are in an abusive relationship with our <laughs> sleeping patterns. Like, yeah. yo, we go to sleep at four. Yeah, but I still believe that we can make it, like, yeah, to yeah. sleep early. That discipline is hard. Yeah, the discipline is very hard, especially if maybe you're following uh, a TV series. Mm-hmm. Um, Queen of the South. Oh, Black Queen East. of the South. What? Whoever put us on those things. <laughs> <laughs> Outer bags. Anastasia, wait. Yeah, yeah. So that has not been working. Yeah. Uh, but my where I see myself, like, six months down the line, I want to be physically fit. In terms of sleep, I want to have at least a consistent sleeping pattern. Yeah. Yeah, my ideal sleeping time is 10 p.m. Be in bed by 10 p.m., wake up by 5 a.m. That is six months down the line. If if I can even wake up by 4 a.m., even better. Yeah. So I think sometimes I'll be leaving you, you know, awake and just sleep. I just want to be in bed by midnight tops mm-hmm. and be up by six or seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I think he said the most about physical. Me, in terms of physical, because most of what he has said I agree on, but I'll catch another aspect. Mm-hmm. What has been working for me physically is just self care. 
you guys self care like just taking care of my body taking care of my skin eating the right foods taking my green tea and my herbal stuff that has been working well for me and what i have been loving physically please pass me there pass me the two what i've been loving physically is the pressure about this marini can you focus yes yeah. marini cream what is it called moisturizer okay fine yeah <laughs> he did it better yeah. yes so this you can put it on your hair or cream butter or on your body yeah. and the how it smells like so how does it help you i don't it, know it, actually like, it re really smells good yeah like, it, it helps our lives you know like our, the other aspect of our lives uh -huh. when i i have this on my body you know like you literally want to eat my skin or eat my how does it help your skin i i don't know i first of all Maybe it's because I've not been wearing creams for a while. Like when I I put on this, uh -huh. I just feel warm. Like see car lotion, uh -huh. especially when it's cold and I have this on my body. Like na, it, it feels really warm. I okay. smell really good. My skin mm -hmm. just gets softer and supple. Yeah, it, I, I'm asking especially on behalf of the guys because for us, like okay, what's the difference between this and Vaseline or a remis, but anyway, ni lens, smells, ni yeah. lens and smell. Uh, scent perfect, like <laughs> guys. Don't be convinced that I can't cool by the way. Jude actually he nukia. wears this. I force him to wear this, and he does it sometimes because yeah, he loves it. Yeah, and I love it. And what the other thing, sorry, the other thing I've been loving is this. This is baby oil. Me, I'm obsessed with baby smells, like. If I have Niki Beba Mstra Mtu Kitu Yakwanza Mi Ufanya Ni Nanusa Mtoto So this has also been Especially in quarantine time I feel like lotion ni mzito sana So having this has been working for me Self care has just been taking care of my body And Your skin And my skin And Kidogo it's connected to my mind When I smell good I feel good I'm in a good mood We are in a good mood So So what do you think you'll do about your fitness? Oh In terms of fitness I am more obsessed with weight than easy my cardio and home workouts. So what we have decided to be doing is weekly, kuna wiki, and we will walk around the neighborhood, kuna wiki, we will jog. Then I'm thinking of getting those bands. Not, not really oh, dumbbells. Yeah. Like um, the stretching bands, yeah, yeah, the working yeah, out bands. Ones, yeah. Nijaribu nazo for mm -hmm. starters. If they don't work and we are still... Under quarantine, mm -hmm. I think now I've just started saving for dumbbells because yeah. weights get me going. Without weights, I feel mm -mm, no. Yeah. Okay, moving on swiftly. Okay, so the mental side of our lives, uh, I believe that it is very important to uh, have good mental health. Yeah. And in the past, I haven't really been keen on mental yeah. health. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think I always thought of myself as being very mentally strong, yeah. which is true. But yeah, again, is actually, yeah, yeah, but but still, it's very important to maintain my mental sanity. Yeah, yeah, true. And especially combining my mental strength and my patience, or is it mm -hmm. my what? My persistence, like my resilience. I think that's the yeah, word. Resilience my resilience the word. and grit. It's really easy to. Did you say grit? Grit. Oh, G-R-I-T. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. My grit and my mental uh, mental strength, yeah. it's really easy to pile things up mentally, mm -hmm. then they just blow up on you one day, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, I think six months down the line or right now, mm -hmm. I'm really working on being very aware of, you know, where I, yeah. how my mind is or how my yeah. mental health is. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's very easy for me to just uh, undergo a very big challengers something that really uh de a depressing thing yeah, yeah yeah i can really shelf things like easily yeah true. yeah that's i can sweep really them true. under the carpet very mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. easily so i'm really working on and they being... have a way of coming back yeah 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 and val really amazes me how she's in touch with her <laughs> emotions that, that's one of in my touch with her mind in touch with her body yeah and she, she'll have a so stomach ache and say, eh, I think it's. Like I know what has. I think it's the thing I ate yesterday or the day before yesterday. I'm like, eh, how, how did you know? Yeah. Like she knows how anything she eats can ha can affect her. 
like yeah. one of Ooh. one of my biggest okay, you're friends. mental but you you have this i'm, I'm self, self-aware yeah, self like one of my yeah, biggest yeah. strength is self-awareness mm. i literally know kama nimeenda sana ama sijaenda sana yeah. like i'm i'm really aware of that uh-huh. and that is one plus that's one thing that has been working for me like yeah. mentally but what i have realized has not been working and i need to improve and be somewhere in the next six months is i have really downplayed the power of mental mm-hmm. strength mm-hmm. and i have been listening to tony robbins there's this podcast i think i actually found it from john akinuthia's recommendations and i'm going to link it also down below and it has really helped me to know that to understand that the biggest organ that's functioning in me is my brain and it's not so user friendly so if i don't learn how to use it well yeah. it's going to mess me up and so in terms of mental strength the two things i have realized i really want to work on is compet- compartmentalizing yeah. issues number one and number two what's the other one now building my mental strength so that before i do something i decide it hapa kwa akili yeah. because i'm usually me nakwanga into let me try this productivity things let me try this lifestyle thing let me build this habit mm-hmm. but i think i decide it with here instead of here yeah. and if i just decided with here it would and again say dear sana and it explains why maybe you you decided to do something yeah, instead like, doing it whenever you it. encounter roadblocks like Uh, that's almost it yeah that's me that's yeah, me. yeah so yeah. like you quit easily because you know when you face yeah and i, I really don't uh, like being pushed headlines. out of my comfort zone that's why it's mm-hmm. it's so weird for me at nilale 10 nimeacha series like nikilala to midnight yeah. yeah but that's something i really want to work on in the next six months and mm-hmm. um please listen to that podcast Yeah. It will help you and i also want it's to plug you yeah i want yeah. to plug you into a book it's called atomic habits by james clear mm-hmm. i just read five pages into it and i was like umsia nitaki by the way but it's a good one yeah everything by james clear actually is very good i've subscribed to his emails and mm-hmm. he sends this uh weekly emails and oh, yeah, yeah. they're very informative short pieces but like very sure. informative yeah especially when it comes to habit change yeah Yeah. Oh and also Matt Davella on YouTube. I'll, I'll link him. Make sure yeah. plug you should watch that guy. Yeah, so what has been working for me in terms of my mental health is building new skills and building new habits, uh yeah, trying out new things. That. Yeah, and it brings a lot of satisfaction when I do something hard uh and I succeed at it. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's more satisfying than doing something easy and making it because it's easy, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyone can do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move to the next. Yeah, the next one is career and passion. Yeah. Maybe you can start on it. So, me in terms of career and passion, I'm not the right person to listen to, honestly. Um there's a friend of mine, so even on passion. Okay, on like passion. Writing. Like passion I can speak about it. In yeah. terms of career, I am one of those people who is wearing heels to the beach, you know? Like I have these papers I have done this I, I have done a degree in communication and public relations. Mm-hmm. I have a degree in French. I have a diploma in graphic design. Degree I, in French or a d- diploma? I have a degree in French. Oh. Like mm-hmm. French akuna France akuna degree. They are mm-hmm. called un diplomate. Okay. Anyway, I have I have that. I have a diploma in graphic designs. I have a masters in international relations. My major is mm-hmm. in development but then all these things <laughs> since i get cuz in practice i am very passionate about development but i just get stuck when i look at our country and i also get stuck because i feel like where i am now if i go into my career i'm going to have to start from interning do three months internship six weeks internship but i feel like <laughs> I don't have the time for that now with my age and where kule naelekea it's just it's complicated so I'm not really the best person I'm still getting convinced by him and a few friends of mine but in terms of passion I am passionate about YouTube I'm passionate about Jesus I'm passionate about writing so the improvement I have done this year big up bad is I started ghost writing so I get outlines of 
people okay i just have one client for now so what he does is he sends me an outline of the book i go to meetings i record and then i come back and write the book so he gets the book as the author yes i wrote it for him by a good price so that i'm so proud of and it's something i'm thinking of venturing into more so if you're watching this and you really want to write a book and you don't have the time i got the time for you yeah uh, so my mindset regarding career and passion is mm -hmm. regardless of anything that you're doing like you should aim to like really excel at it yeah yeah so I, on the other hand not on the other hand <laughs> on the other leg no contrarily to what Val, on the contrary yeah or contrarily uh, on the eh? what? okay fine okay on the contrary mm -hmm. uh now to what Val thinks about career mm -hmm. i think i consider myself extremely career oriented yeah he is very um, oriented very I, I career even get oriented jealous about it sometimes do you like get good, jealous or do you like get like good jealous i just like i wish i was i wish i I wish I was somewhere with my career like he is or I wish I was mm. as passionate or as no. invested as you are but but we, we can't be the same and not not everyone thrives in their careers it's not bad to admire and okay fine. Yeah, it's not bad to admire but but the thing is my first statement that I said it doesn't matter if you're career oriented or you're really focused in growing your passion uh whatever it is your hands finds to do do it with all thy might you know do okay. it excellently yeah, so that's my mindset about career and passion and whatever yeah so the other thing is what has not been working is no what has been working is i've been building some necessary skills uh that will improve uh, me and yeah. you know grow me uh, but what has not been working is I've been having these ideas that can improve my you know, my career life. Yeah, so I've been having having these ideas but I'm sitting on them. Mm -hmm. So that has not been working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but 6 months down the, the line, I want to see myself, you know, having implemented all these ideas that I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least most of them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, building more skills that will help me. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's good. I see yeah. you. I see you working hard. I see you. You're doing something. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So the next aspect is our social life and that's our fr relationships, friends, family. Uh, we're not going to talk about us, but our friends and family. Yeah. yeah. So for me what has been working, a a part on my back. I have known my strengths and my weaknesses. I have yeah. done a video before just saying how me and WhatsApp mm -mm, we don't see it. You won't find me there. <laughs> but now I have found a way. For most of my friends they are social media savvy so we talk on um Instagram a lot. I've also managed to work on calls. I am not so big on calls but I have yeah. scheduled time to call my friends, mm -hmm. to video call them like I skip weeks. Oh my best day week, wengine hii week. And yeah, I'm, I think I'm I'm at a good place. What has not been working for me is that those friends when you took were close sana uh -huh. but we are friends especially from from church yeah. so say it's just it's wild waters maneuvering <laughs> siko sure because do you call Be those friends like are you even so atuko kwa tight sana ni wale wa set up kwa na na sunday but yeah. now you see now we are not meeting on sundays and also yeah. now we are transitioning to another church yeah. so it becomes really weird like so It's just it's wild waters but those yeah. jaqua stable on that but that is where I want to be in six months like kuko stable and to know you know yeah. now that we're not seeing each other on Sunday now what yeah 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 for me socially uh my mindset is that I should also have you know a uh, very good social capital I hate it's called social capital nowadays I didn't knew yeah I you need to have knew. good social capital you know <laughs> So anyway, uh, my mindset that's my mindset that it should be good. But what has not been working is I think my my perception of how friendships should be and your personality. Yeah, and my personality. Yeah. So I'm um, this kind of guy where like we can even stay uh, you know like three weeks, four weeks, two months without talking mm -hmm. and I'll be like when whenever I call you or whenever you, you call me we are good we are still at the same level my to to be at here that's that's my still good. mindset too but yeah. na madem ni tricky eh yeah, so na expect 
nazaka even a, a, a week or even a month without calling you and you you know very good friend, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good friend good. and I'll be good and I'll expect you to be good but people are different yeah, and not yeah. everyone will be good with that so yeah. there are people who need at least uh, attention <laughs> okay, but friendships i think they need to be nurtured in yeah, different yeah. ways water, so water is... you really need to know the personality of each of your friends because True. not every friend has the same personality as yeah. yours or the others as yeah. mine yeah, yeah. so I, I think i really need to work on the scheduling meeting course. them at their personality level too. yes and yeah. and i think they also need to work on meeting me at my personality level so me too my friends me too when it's both ways then yeah we it's good good yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. basically whatever is good that's our timer to stop yeah. basically whatever is good water it Sorry. okay all right yeah mm-hmm. yeah seeing that we have come to our timer is up we, we don't mm-hmm. want a long video we have failed at that it's long but do you have anything more to yeah. say that john chapter one verse two peter's checking uh on his friend is it checking us checking up on yeah checking up on his friend Gaius. called Gaius and verse 2 of that John chapter 1 says that i hope you are prospering in all things and you're in good health even as your soul prospers mm-hmm. so basically it means that uh, you know even in bible times yeah like uh, it's, it was it's, good it's good yeah to be well uh, yeah, in it's, all it's of in life. god's intentions that we are well Thank in you. all aspects of our lives Thank you. So as edit you watch, your, edit out your party angle. <laughs> okay, I will not. <laughs> yeah. But as you watch, as you watch this video, we hope that it will push you to actually take stock of your life. And we we are passionate, a little bit passionate, or growing in the passion of self development and productivity. And we see that mm-hmm. it's in God's intention that we do, like we thrive in all areas of our lives. Yeah. So we hope that this video pushes you to actually analyze your life. Jite kamkutano sit out with your friend or whoever keeps you accountable and yeah. do that. And we we would want to know if this video was helpful to you. Please engage us in the comment yeah. section because we love you and we want to hear from you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like like this video. Mm-hmm. share mm-hmm. subscribe if you haven't yeah. uh drop your comments down below and, yes please yeah. do yeah that's it from us so bye bye